hello youtubers juggernaut here thank you for checking this out uh, as you can see by the ticker at the bottom please hit that subscribe button smash that bell button if you want to receive alerts for any new videos or live streams we are doing if you are returning and you've already done that thank you I appreciate that and as always share 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 in order that we can grow earlier today I did a video on an add-on called the knob now it is an add-on based add-on that we did and just ran through it pretty quick and uh, in that video I talked about another complimentary add-on called pin sentry now pin sentry allows you to pin protect um, add-ons such as the knob or other ones that are add-on based and it does protect and other options too if you choose to go that route so what we're going to do is is we are going to do an install and a configuration and uh, without delay let's get at her as always i am doing this tutorial in the juggernaut build if you are using a generic cody or a build other than this one and you find it difficult to find the locations uh, that we are going in this tutorial youtube is your friend just do a quick search that being said, let's get to it. We are going to need to install the U repo. Uh, the U repo is where Pin Sentry is found. So we click on down to File Manager, head into File Manager, uh, slide over to the right. You can scroll all the way down, but uh, I like to press up and hit the Add Source button. Uh, you want to click into the None so we can give a media location, and you want to type this URL in there. I'm going to leave it up there for a few seconds, but pause the video if you need to. Once you have finished typing that, just move down and press the none, and then move down in, to, in order to name it. And again, this is the, the U repo. Head down to OK, hitting OK. If you did not receive an error, then it is correct. Uh, you can go ahead and back out, and then what we want to do is move into the system. And in system, we want to go down to add-ons, and in add-ons, we want to install from zip. Now, this is where we can scroll down to the U uh, repo source that we put in there. But again, I just scroll up to find the quickest path. Click on U repo, and let's go ahead and install the repository. Depending on the speed, it may take a couple seconds. We wait for the acknowledgement to pop up, telling us that the repo has been installed. From there, we can go into install from the repository. So let's find that repository. There we go. We go ahead and click in there. Then we can go down to video add-ons. And in video add-ons, we are going to want to find pin sentry. And then we go ahead and install it. So from here, this has been installed, but it needs to be configured. So what you can do is you can go ahead and click and hold in order to get the context menu and then we go into settings going into the settings you will see that the pin has not been set so the first thing I usually like to do is as I move down and I'm going to select the pin length I usually only do a uh, four digit pin as um, you don't need to make it too difficult but you also want something that you're going to remember for the invalid pin notification I change that to a dialog box then I hit the set pin value. In my build, uh, along with the other Supreme builds, uh, we use uh, 2017. You enter the first digit, it'll ask you to re-enter it again, and it confirms that your pin number has been changed when it disappears. So you go ahead and click it, get click and hold, and we want to move back into the settings, and you'll see that the warning pin has not been set, has disappeared. So then what we can do is we can go through the individual categories. You can go through and set the different things you want, but the activity um, in here, what I like to do is, is uh, I don't want to password protect video playing, uh, so I turn that off, or the TV, navigation, TV channels or navigation. You can set these to your liking uh, based on protecting the adult uh, add-ons. Add I just leave the plugins and uh, so while we leave this plugins checked, move on up to the advanced. I uh, want to remember the pin. To remember the pins for a period of time. What I do is, is I like to go in here and set this to 30 minutes. And I just 
just go through here and make sure nothing else is checked. Once again, it's uh, on you if you would like to do that. Uh, time limits. Uh, you can set a warning. Uh, I personally myself set it for two minutes and they will get a warning that uh, the time is running out. Once I have set all that, I move down and press OK. That takes us back to the video add-ons list where you see pin, pin sentry. So I go ahead and click it. Not click and hold, you click it. And because you, we've already added the pin, um, we can move into this and press open. From open, it's going to ask us for a pin. So enter the pin that you've assigned. And we are going to go through the plugins. Now this is where you just enter the plugins and it'll give you a list of the plugins and you search for your add all based if that's what you're using it for. An example is, is uh, because I've had this on my system previously, uh, the knob has been checked. So all you do is you go ahead and check it. Uh, you scroll up. So you just click on it to check it and you can click these other ones. Uh, if you, just by clicking this, you can see that it returns you back to the top, which can be a pain. But uh, I've checked MP3 streams just to show you how easy it is. You just uh, select it. So I'm going to select it again to remove the check mark. Once you've gone through and checked all the ones that you want and confirming that by just scrolling through and making sure that the check marks are there, that acknowledges that the add-ons that you want have been password or pin protected, then all you need to do is just back out. And you are finished. It is that easy. Um, because we have put the pin in, if I go to select an add-on right now, it will um, let us in because it saves the pin for 30 minutes because that's what we have it set for. So again, I thank you. Any comments, put them down below. Any questions, same thing. I am here to help. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know.